Yeah, I think now we know we're more prepared for it. Uh, we have more guys who have played in that um, on that stage, so um, hopefully we'll be more ready this year. How that superhero thing go with ESPN? I saw. And, <laughs> yeah, it was first? it was fun. Um, it's really cool that they were able to do that for me and you know for my friends and family to see and the fans. So it was pretty cool. They, they obviously try to get certain matchups for the interest in the in the early rounds, and, and you guys have Quinnipiac coming up here. Um, to be in the in the eight nine game, possible second round matchup. How how much do you guys follow the other team from Connecticut, and how excited are you for them and and the, and the idea of what the first two rounds is going to mean for the fans of, uh, in Connecticut? Yeah, we follow them and watching their run um, last year and just how they kind of you know just came out and uh, you know proved themselves to everybody was really fun for us to watch. So if we get the opportunity to play them, I think that would be really cool and. Uh, just that kind of intensity and just that kind of hunger you can see that they have. What does it mean to you guys to have uh, the defending national champions in, in your region? You know, obviously that's the title you guys want and they hold it right there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a battle with South Carolina and it's it's never an easy game. So um, I think it's uh, it'll, it'll be good for us. It'll be fun. It'll be exciting. And uh, you know, hopefully we might be able to make it to that matchup and hopefully, you know, we'll see it. What do you guys do when you're watching the tournament? I mean, you obviously knew you were going to be the number one seeds. Does it get kind of routine at this point? Are you still excited? Do you guys fill out your own brackets, or what? How do you how do you approach watching this uh, unfold? I don't think it's ever routine. I mean, every year is different. Every year has uh, its different struggles, and you know we see some threats and some things going on. Um, you know, some uh, obstacles coming in front of us now that we've seen the bracket unfold and. Uh, I think every year is special because every year is so different and every year is, uh, you know, has unique things that we have to overcome to get to this position. Debbie, is this a really anxious time for this team? Yeah, it is because, especially, you know, for us older guys who went through what happened last year, we're anxious to kind of prove ourselves again. And for the guys who haven't, I think they're anxious just to be on the stage and see what it's like. So I think it is. How much do you guys scout a first round opponent or do you concentrate more on what you guys need to execute rather than looking at what the other team is doing? It's both. It's both with every game and it's kind of how we are all season. You know, we have our own expectations and if those aren't met, we'll be upset even if we do win. Um, but then of course, you know, we still have to scout. We still have to have an idea of what we're doing and how to stop the team. So uh, it's a combination. How good of a job do you think Gino could do coaching the basketball? I think he loses his mind. I think he would lose his mind before. I mean, I, he'd do a great job coaching anybody, but yeah, he would go crazy. Black Debbie, you? Because men are stubborn. <laughs> men do what they want. He was speaking in front of a group of fans this morning, joking about that they think the season begins today. And in some, some ways, he said that's kind of true. Um, um, is that how you guys look at us? Like back in November, is there all, I know you kind of appreciate every moment along the way. Yeah. But is there like a sense that this is what it's all about always and uh, this I think is where it begins? I wouldn't say we look at it as our, our season's just now starting because of course we have our, yeah, um, that's kind of crazy to even think about that. But um, <laughs> maybe we, yeah, we might think of it as like a, we have a new season starting now because going into this tournament, you know, anything can happen and, uh, you know, teams play at a higher level and, you know, they come with the adrenaline and they come with the super, um, you know, tight focus. So it's almost like, yeah, it's like, it's like a new season for us, but we, we don't, you know, start in November looking forward to March. We take it one game at a time.